we all know in this state, blackouts are unpredictable and they happen often. And with the recent rolling blackouts happening on the Big Island, it's important that residents are prepared in case uh, their power goes out. Joining us in studio to show us what we should do in case you have a power outage and for the uh, preparedness, Ville. Good yes, morning. Sir. Good morning. You're from City Mill. Thank you for yes, coming sir. and sharing this. We did this last year, I think, before. We were just talking about this. Uh, we did this before hurricane season because, I mean, you know me. I, I get up here all the time, and I'm like, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're prepared. And, and some people will seriously say, what do you mean when you say prepared? And, and that's a very good question. Yes. And this is exactly what we're talking about, making sure that you have this stuff. And not just for hurricanes. We mentioned you have the rolling blackouts. And in this state, you get a little bit of rain. It saturates the trees. The winds come along and blow. blow over and you got power line problems. So let's talk about what we have here. So uh, what do you recommend that we have here in a power outage in Hawaii? Let's go through. So first of all, we partner up with uh, HECO yeah. um, to distribute their emergency preparedness kit. So this is at our every city mill location uh, and online. Um, basically, it tells you whatever is on there is what we recommend. Mm -hmm. or any uh, weather-related issues. Is this the, the bucket? I, a, a couple years ago, I think you guys gave me a city mill bucket, and it had all, the, like, it had all the, yeah, the stuff that you need in there. Yep. And this is a, a very good manual from HECO. It goes through a lot of important information about, about what you could do. I mean, you want to know what you needed to do, prepare, grab that first, and, and you'll have a lot of good very, information. Very, very highly recommend it. Go to your city mill. Every city mill will, pre will have this for you. Yeah, it's, so, I mean, we have a flashlight here, and some people are like, duh, we got to have a flashlight. But, I mean, you'd be surprised when you, at night when that power goes out, it's dark, and you yes. just need to see. It's the simple things like that, right? Yes, it's always good to have, you know, you have your normal flashlight. Yeah. But one of the things that we want to kind of focus in, in is depending on sometimes uh, if there's heavy rain or yeah. flooding, we have a weatherproof flashlight here that works well. These come a long way too. You got a, weather, a weatherproof uh, uh, flashlight, and, and if you want to be more green, I mean, it runs on batteries, but you can get the rechargeable batteries for that. Yes. Now, now let's shift to what technology is doing to help us prepare, because this stuff is coming a, a, a long way fast, and we're yeah. talking about uh, renewable stuff and batteries and things that, that we didn't have 10 years ago, and this yes. is one of them, right? Yes, yeah, so I, I want to spotlight on this first. Okay, sure. This, this is basically our Go Zero Torch 500. <laughs> I love What's the name. What's beautiful about this is it has a self-built uh, charging solar system in here. Yeah. So it's, it self-charge itself. Yeah, you don't, I mean, and, and it's got, it's, you got a flashlight. I mean, this thing's like a Swiss Army knife of flashlights, right? You got all this, all these little different types of flashlights. And of course, you can just charge that, charge that up right in the sun, right? Let me just show you real quick. So a spotlight. Just like that, there's a button right here. Yeah. For your spotlight that has a high, mid, and there you then go. low. Then it also has a floodlight. Oh, there you another. go. You can also probably like if you have a car on the side of the highway, you want to make sure people can see you kind of like a flare. Yes. It's a multi-purpose kind of thing there. Another cool hang little it. gadget here, you can hang it. Yeah. Run a rope through it and hang it in your <laughs> living room. Yeah. Right? Or yeah. have it on your counter just like that. There you go. Yeah, that's good. They put these little engineers, put these little handy things in there for that. One more thing. It has a, a USB port that you can charge your cell phone with, oh, by the way, in there. I did not catch that. They're yes. getting so small nowadays, man. So, okay, this this is the, the prize here that I like the best. Yes. I might go grab me one of these. So w let's let's go over this thing. It, it, it's, it's, it's a battery, right? This is our uh, Go Zero Yeti mm -hmm. uh, 200X, very portable. <laughs> Yeah. You can haul around in your home or in, even in the studio. Studio, Very easy, lightweight. It has a USB port for your uh, cell phones, mm -hmm. laptop, and also AC for a lamp That's you, know, you want to put in. Yes. The AC is like you don't normally see. You see a lot of these things, but you don't see that. And it looks like a cigarette lighter. Let's go old school, right? So here you want to charge your cell phone. You just plug that in, right? Plug that in, and you're good to go. And you're good to go. See, yes. it's, it's that easy. Uh, I, I like the. That's what I like best about this. I mean, you're talking about a 12 volt source here. You say, yes. well, what that? Some people, okay, uh, Brittany, do you know what that's for? <laughs> With cigarette lighters and cars used to have cars. So a lot of things still. I still have one. It has a cigarette lighter port. So yes. I mean, you've included that, which says, okay, you got everything here. And yeah, it has all the different ports, and it has the AC one, and that that lasts a pretty good amount of time, right? Yes. I mean, you charge it up once, and you got some power for quite a bit of time, quite so, a few hours. In preparedness before the power outage, you want to charge this out, right? So yeah. you can use your outlet 
or a solar panel which comes separately. I've seen that. Yeah, we, we did one over there last year. Real yeah. quick, we want to touch on the generator out here. What's the, what's the big deal about that? I mean, it's a generator, right? But this one's a special one. Yeah, so another power source is your generator. So um, one of the important thing is um, you know, your, fr your refrigerator. Yeah. When your power goes out, everybody yeah. worries about the food. That's a good point. Uh, one of the things you got to make sure you, you, you are aware of it is what is going to be powered on there yeah. and how long it will be. So this is a duel where your electricity goes out. Obviously, you can't use electricity, electric, right? Yeah. This has a propane tank that you can attach to this, and you can use it. That's the thing. I mean, I mean, you could take, uh, I mean, you could use your grill propane, right? Yes. <laughs> to to, uh, to multifunction, you can use propane for different things. That that's pretty cool. And it's portable. And it's port very. We, we portable. hauled it here. <laughs> <laughs> My brother just got one of these back home, and it, yeah, it's a big deal to have that. Thank you so much for coming in here. I love that shirt, by thank the you, way. Thank you, thank cool. you. <laughs>